Hi guys, welcome to the next section of the course, Implement Best Practices. In this section, we will learn a few of the best practices that can be performed while working with the Azure functions, like adding multiple messages to a queue and implementing defensive applications using queue triggers. Further, we will discover how to handle massive ingress for IoT and alike scenarios. Lastly, we will learn to enable authorization for function apps. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with adding multiple messages to a queue. In this video, we will simulate the requests using the Postman tool that sends the request to the backend web API, HTTP trigger, that can create all the queue messages in a single attempt. There are a few required steps which we need to perform before starting with the actual procedure. Firstly, create a storage account using Azure Management Portal if you have not created it yet. Next, visit this website to install Microsoft Storage Explorer if you have not installed it yet. In the Function app, Azure Function Solution, we will create a new HTTP trigger by clicking on this plus icon. From Choose a Template window, we will select HTTP trigger hyphen C sharp template and name it as Bulk Device Registrations. We will set the authorization level to anonymous. Lastly, click on Create button to create the function. Immediately, you will be taken to the run.csx file. Here, we will replace the default code with this block of code. You might get compilation errors. Don't worry, we will fix that in the next few steps. Click on the Save button and navigate to the Integrate tab of Bulk Device Registrations. Here, click on the New Output tab. So, we will click on Azure Queue Storage and then click on Select button and provide the name of the queue and other parameters as shown on the screen. Let's name the message parameter and queue name as device queue and in the storage account connection we will select the previously created storage account that is as your function sol. Lastly, click on the save button to save the changes and navigate to the code editor of the Azure function. In the code editor, click on the view files tab and add a new file by clicking on the add tab. Enter the file name as project.json. In the project.json file, let's add a newtonsoft.json nuget package by adding the json in the project.json file. So, we need to add these lines of code in the project.json file. Then click on save button to save all the changes. Under the test tab, we will include the test parameter in the request body. Once all the test parameters are included, click on the Run button to test the functionality. In the Log Console, you can see the function completion message. Now open the Azure Storage Explorer and go to the storage account, Azure Function Sol, and navigate to the queue named as Device Queue. We should see two records as shown on the screen. In this video, we successfully added multiple messages to a queue.